morning I'm uh, working on my freezer meals some more today and the little kids are here helping me and between helping they are working on some schoolwork. Peter what are you working on? Looks like he's working on his letters and then we have Lydia. What are you working on Lydia? What are these? Um, E's. E's, that's right. We're working on tracing our E's. E's off. Now I'm making my large amount of ground beef mixture for meatballs, meatloaf, and Salisbury steak. Well, we're having a little bit of problem trying to fit everything in the freezer, but looks like uh, it might be coming along. There we go. That's a start. Yeah. How much more do you have to put in? Well, this will be after I do the meatballs. I'll have 10 meals frozen. Okay. And I got 30 to do. Wow. Well, we found an inexpensive way to vacuum seal our bags, and that's the way we do it. It costs as much as however much a straw costs. Okay, we're going to put the straw in the bag, uh, put it almost all the way to the food, then you just zipper it up onto both sides. You hold it with one hand, hold the straw with the other hand. And then you suck. Like that. And you are done. Look how fast that spider is encasing that fly. Well, we, we have two things going uh, that we sold on eBay. They're both going to Massachusetts. We have a speaker going to, I think it's Clinton, Massachusetts, and a strap for a baby swing, the one that we got from the side of the road, um, going to um, Dartmouth, Massachusetts. And Mary looks like she's enjoying them. Sorry, Mary, we gotta go take them to the post office now. Okay, I'm trying something new. I made six chocolate chip cookies. I'm gonna stick them on the grill and see what happens. Yesterday, I spent the entire day cooking for my freezer. Um, for my freezer meals and today I decided to take a break from that and clean up the house. So that's where I, what I've been working on most of the day, just vacuuming and dusting and getting the house back to where it needs to be. Uh, the house looks a lot better. The landing to the second floor had gotten really bad since, our, since we did our garage sale. A lot of stuff had come in from the garage sale and then when we don't know where to put it, well, inevitably it ends up on the third floor. And that's fine, except it lands on the stairs to the third floor, and then if it doesn't go upstairs fast enough, it waterfalls off the stairs to the third floor onto the landing on the second floor. And it just, it, it's messy, and because the kids see it, then they start making more of a mess, and it's just, it's like a downhill spiral. So that was our goal today, to get that cleaned up, and also to get the playpen put out. This is the temperature inside my grill. Now let's see if the cookies are done. Uh, well, the tops look okay, but I think the bottom's got a little burned. Hmm. I think I gotta let them go a little bit longer. It's totally maybe a complete dud of an idea. But hey, that's why I made a small batch. We'll try it. If it works, well, I know what to do with my leftover heat next time. Well, they looked a tad bit more burnt than I would like, but I'll have to give them a taste and see how they came out. Okay, well, the cookies did not come out very well. They're pretty burnt. These were the two best ones. That one and that one. Those are the best yeah. ones. And one of the worst ones is this one. <laughs> oh, it's not pretty. Not pretty at all. Maybe we can... Maybe we can pick off the chocolate chips or something. Me too. So, Daddy, what do you think? Good. Kids like them. Everybody likes them? Oh, I love them. They taste like burn. They taste like burn, um, burn, burn cherries. Burn cherries? Do you get some? Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, you know the kids are desperate for sugar when they think that the cookies taste like burn cherries. Mm -hmm. Oh well, my next, next my time. yeah my advice to you is don't grill chocolate chip cookies. It doesn't work. On another walk, 
uh, Janelle is trying to exercise uh, 10 times this month, that's her goal. So we're all going on a walk and we're going to the library. And there is the Baptist Church. It's been there for many, many years. And our house used to be the parsonage for the Baptist Church until about 1960, something like that. The kids love this tree right here. On top of the tree, there's a tree growing. And the kids find that very interesting. And this is the oldest house in Burnt Hills. I think it was built, oh, maybe 1870s. It could be a little off on that. This house here used to be a hospital a long time ago. Here was Burnt Hills' first fire station. It's not a fire station now, it's a law office. And my business used to be in this building here, but then I moved, uh, oh, four years ago. And there's the William Kingsley Motel and Stagecoach Inn, uh, stuff like that. And that's very old too. I think it was uh, 1797 it was built. Yep. That's the original farmhouse that used to own all the land around here a long time ago. Not totally sure about that, but that's what I think. And there's the Episcopal Church. It was established in 1849. And here's our destination, the library. And we are here. And the kiddos want to go in the house again. They like the little house. They want one just like it. Hi, Dad. Hi, Lydia. How's your house? Good. I can touch the roof. <laughs> Me too. Well, in the cemetery, there's something kind of interesting. Uh, William Hoyt. 1845 to 1915, and then his wife, or I don't know his wife, anyway, it's someone else. His wife. Oh, his wife, yes. Um, 1844, and she didn't die yet. She's 170 years old. Um, kind of find that interesting. There's Ballston Lake. Ballston Lake is right next to Burnt Hills. If there wasn't that little sign there, you would never know you're going from one to the other. And right back there in the woods, uh, there is an old uh, vacant cottage. It used to be an artist's cottage. Some artists lived there. And uh, it looks like a Hansel and Gretel house. And uh, it's really cool, but it's ready to fall down now. Hey, okay, I've owned a lot of odd things in my life, but I've never owned anything this odd. It's a smokestack from a ship from, I think, the 1920s or 1930s. Um, Interesting the thing to have in your yard. The guy that bought this said he was going to try to turn it into an outdoor shower or outdoor tool shed. But it's on a trailer right now. Janelle came to church today and sprayed the weeds that were in the cracks in the parking lot with uh, vinegar. And it looks like uh, most of them are dead, so it looks like it worked. They were pretty lush this morning. And here's the playground at the local elementary school that the kids like to play at. Janelle says she has been dying to go on a swing. Well, there she is. You know what? I think I've been dying to go on a swing too. I think I'm going to hop on. Hi, Mary. You like this? You, even mommies like to play on the playground. Okay, Janelle's going to try the monkey bars, see if she can get across. It's not looking, oh, not looking good. Oh. Was that funny, Mary? Mommy's funny. You going to try it again? I know, but my hands are tired now. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. My elbows. Okay, here's a kid in a camera. 
Oh, Charity's gonna try it. Okay, go Charity. Charity. She's almost done it. Oh, not quite. Here, Charity, Daddy's turn. You did it. You did it. Good job, Lydia. Oh, dude, let's see if Daddy can do it. Who thinks Daddy can do it? Oh, of course he can do it. Oh, I don't know. Come on, monkey. Look at him go. He's so graceful. Just like a chimpanzee. Yes, I did it. Yay! Does that mean I get the, bam, uh, the baboon award? <laughs> baboon. You gonna go down the slide, Lydia? Yeah. I can. Okay. Yeah, I can. Wee! Good job. Check out that hair. Okay, do it again.